More than 3,000 people died last year from opioids, according to New Jersey's health department. Now there's a compassionate and what's proving to be an effective way to slow down this type of drug use and deaths. It's being done with the help of what's known as harm reduction centers. News 12 New Jersey's Chris Keating reports from Asbury Park. Except for the front door, it's a fairly nondescript building sitting right alongside the train tracks on Sunset Avenue in the heart of Asbury Park. This harm reduction center is one of only seven in New Jersey, and the people and the products they provide inside are saving lives. We're not judging anybody for their choices. We're not forcing anyone to make decisions, but offering people services to meet them where they're at. Services that include access to sterile syringes for people who inject drugs. They collect used syringes so that people have a place to dispose of them. Um, they offer free naloxone, which is sometimes known as Narcan by the brand name. Caitlin O'Neill um, is the director of the Harm Reduction Coalition and was a drug user. Then two major events took place in her life. First, her partner overdosed and died. I felt a real lack of compassion from people um, whose narrative was get clean or die. And then she found for herself a harm reduction center in Newark, which provided that very compassion she needed. It gave her free and clean needles, naloxone to carry around, and eventually determination to stop using. The one, the only, the singular, Caitlin O'Neill. She was recognized for her work by Governor Murphy as he signed six bills into law to help these facilities and those living with addiction. One of those measures will make it easier for anyone to get naloxone, which is known as the overdose antidote. Another will see health insurers cover those purchases. We have got to bring these fatalities down. We are, we are so far from the end zone on this, folks, but I think the path we're on is the right path. From someone like Caitlin O'Neill, who has walked that path, it would seem harm reduction may also be the antidote that could save a life. In Asbury Park, I'm Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey. Naloxone is available without a prescription. However, it can cost as much as $120 for a dose.